So today we're making our dandelion jelly uh, to give as presents for Christmas. And we're using frozen dandelions. Um, so we, we're boiling our lids and our jars. And uh, we're excited to see how this turns out. And hopefully we'll have some nice gifts for Christmas presents. So as we heat up, we have 10 cups of water and we have two quarts of the yellows of the dandelions. And they do tend to float, so continue to break them up and stir until they sink and they're saturated. And then we're going to bring them to a boil. And then we're going to strain them and just harvest the juice. So now the blossoms have boiled and simmered for about five minutes. So we have poured 12 cups of sugar into a separate pot and Carly is pouring eight tablespoons of organic lemon juice into the pot. We'll be straining the dandelions um, through a metal strainer into this pot. We're going to bring it to a rapid boil, a hard boil, so that as you stir it, it's still continuing to boil. That's a lot of sugar, huh, Carly? Yeah. It's pretty yeah. exciting. And uh, that's continuing to simmer, so we're just about just about ready. And we're using the liquid pectin from Ball. We're going to put four of those packets in. There's two in a box. The nice thing about uh, freezing your dandelions and then trying to make jelly just before Christmas is a lot of your canning supplies actually go on clearance at your grocery stores. Like this was originally $3.99, now it's $1.19. I put two nutrients. <laughs> so once we poured the pectin in, we just boiled it hard for one minute, and hopefully this will set up beautifully and be ready. Um, so go ahead and skim that, sweetheart. You're doing great. And when you tighten your bands, make sure they're not too tight. Um, just gently tighten them. That looks great, Carly. Yes, I think the most important thing is to make sure that those rims are clean and that you've got foam out of there. Good job. Make sure it's nice and straight. All right. So we'll just keep filling, and you kind of have to fill as fast as you can. You don't want it to cool down too much before you plop it in that bath. So we actually ended up with 18 jars. These are our little eight ounce jars that we're using for Christmas presents. Look at the beautiful color. It looks like honey. It smells like honey. Uh, hopefully it tastes the same way. It is absolutely beautiful. When we were cooking this, it smelled like summer. We're so excited to try this. It ended up being syrup, and it's delicious for waffles, pancakes, in your tea. Uh, but if you wanted to actually make jelly, we recommend adding more pectin if you're going to use uh, as much liquid as we did. Um, the other thing we did is we are now boiling our dandelions a second time to make tea. So we've been enjoying dandelion tea today. So don't forget to use your remnants as tea and then put them in your compost pile. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, this experiment didn't really go wrong. It actually tastes amazing. <laughs> that was fast. Wow.